It's the 23rd of December, one more sleep to go until it's Christmas Eve, which means two more sleeps and it's Christmas Day. The excitement is mounting. Uh, it's really close now. And so our journey in Advent is almost over. We've got one more reflection, which is tomorrow that Jess will be bringing us. Uh, and we've covered all sorts of ground and been all the way through the Bible following the story uh, of God leading up to Christmas. I hope you've learned something. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, and uh, if it has, well, you never know, we might do it again. Um, but I found it really interesting following the story of Christmas right from the very beginning. Today, we're going to have a bit more of the Christmas story beginning in Luke chapter 2. At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Quirinius was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register themselves, each to his own hometown. Joseph went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage. She was pregnant, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. Things are getting really exciting and really close. For Mary and Joseph, they had to go on a long journey. Mary, obviously, being really pregnant, uh, and quite far gone, I think is the term I meant to use, uh, will have been feeling really uncomfortable. And I can imagine that, they, uh, that Joseph would have been worrying massively about whether they would arrive and find room to rest before Mary gave birth. It's in the midst of that busy preparation, the busyness of arriving and finding somewhere to stay, that the announcement that Jesus really is about to arrive comes. In these next few days, in these next 48 hours, we can get really busy with all the final preparations. It might be that you're traveling to see family today. It might be that you're getting all the decorations ready or starting to plan out the great Christmas meal or you've got family coming to visit you. It might be you're trying to get some last minute Christmas cards written or even last minute Christmas shopping done or wrapping done in the midst of all the busyness and final preparation, in the midst of the anticipation and excitement. Don't forget to make a little bit of time to remember what it's all about. In the midst of the busyness, just take a moment to reflect on the awesomeness that is Christmas, the awesomeness of the message that God has come down to be with us, his people, here on earth. Take time to reflect on how great that is and what it really means to us today. So for our penultimate image that we place upon our Jesse tree, it's a symbol of journeying. We're going to place a pair of sandals. But before we do that, let's pray. Jesus, we're so excited about Christmas and all the fun we will have. But we choose to stop for a while and think about how exciting is it that you arrived all those years ago and look forward to the day when you will come again. Thank you so much. Amen.